Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hello, and welcome to the Ident Review Extra, the spin-off show that takes a look at one individual Ident each episode and gives it the review it deserves. And this time around, we're embarking on a journey through the rhythm and movement Idents that represented BBC One between 2002 and 2006. We've got some special sequences now, centred around Wales. Throughout our journey so far, I've showcased to you all of the main sequences that comprise rhythm and movement during its short lifespan. However, there were relatively few special idents aside from the festive favourites that appeared during the four years of this era for BBC One. We've seen special Christmas idents, of course, but you could have always assumed they were a given, since they'd been a long-standing tradition for decades. However, there are two variants that only were shown in the region of Wales. Being a half Welshie myself, I'm excited to get into these. So let's begin with our first one which I'll unofficially title, Victory. A change to the schedule now on BBC One Wales. Match of the day will be shown at midnight and again tomorrow morning at 10 past 8. But now we're celebrating Wales' historic Grand Slam victory by re-showing the whole of this afternoon's game. Uninterrupted, it's Wales versus Ireland at the Millennium Stadium. Savour the next 90 minutes. Ah, fan revelry. There's nothing quite like it. As you can see, a group of Wales fans are gathered together in a public place, most likely a pub. We don't get to see what they're watching, but it must be good news as they jump about and celebrate together, all to the soundtrack of the festival I then, which as previously mentioned, is one of my absolute favourites. Seeing people celebrate something they're passionate about is always appealing in my view, but as you've probably guessed from the continuity announcer, this is marking one very special event indeed. The 2005 Six Nations Championship saw Wales come out victorious, winning all five of their games, giving them their first Grand Slam title since 1978, ending a 27-year gap. Given their unprecedented performance throughout the championship and their stunning victory against Ireland in the final, BBC One Wales decided that not only would this special ident be broadcast, but an alteration be made to the station's logo. If you look in the bottom left corner, you'll see the familiar red BBC One box. However, the one has been cleverly changed to one, marking the historic victory for the Welsh. The victory ident was shown on the same day the team were crowned the winners, on the 19th of March 2005. The final game was repeated and still remains one of the proudest moments of Welsh sport in recent memory. It's great to see as well that it's not just men in the picture, but women are here too, showcasing as many of the rhythm and movement idents do, that sport can be and should be for everyone. But amazingly, this wasn't the only ident to mark the special occasion. A second variant appeared also. This one I'll simply title, Flag. If you saw the drama Kidnapped recently here on BBC One Wales, there's a special programme about its author, The Adventures of Robert Louis Stevenson in 40 Minutes, after Songs of Praise. Best flag in the UK, always has been. Set inside a sports stadium, we see two figures slowly descend to the ground, carrying with them and unfurling the Welsh flag, showcasing its green, white, and of course the magnificent red dragon. It's simple, yet graceful, and when set against the music originally heard in Skateboarders, I think it paints quite the serene picture indeed. Not much information is known about this one, and the continuity announcer seldom mentions football at all, rather that Songs of Praise is about to start instead. That program tends to go out on Sundays, and given that the final game of the 2005 Six Nations was on Saturday the 19th of March, I would assume that this sequence was seen in the early hours of Sunday the 20th of March. Given that the BBC One text box still proclaims BBC One Wales and the focus on the Welsh flag, the sense of national pride would still be at its peak the day after. The two Wales variants in the Rhythm and Movement era are a rare event indeed. At a time where special idents weren't being produced as regularly on BBC One, 
For the Welsh to get two of them, not even to mark a specific programme, but more of a national achievement, is something truly worthy of being proud of. Whilst I love seeing the fans' jubilation, I think the flag is a great sequence all its own. It makes you feel a sense of pride, a sense of accomplishment, and if you're Welsh, a great sense of where you come from and being proud of it. And at the time of writing, as Wales gear up to head to their first World Cup in over 60 years, we can hope that whatever fueled them to win these six nations back in 2005 will continue to fuel them now in 2022. And so that brings us to the end of another episode of the Ident Review Extra. If you enjoyed this look back at these special whale sequences, then please leave a like, comment your thoughts below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more Ident related content. I've been Adam Martin from AMTV, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show, and a special thank you to Macra, Hux Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kitsumanoid, and Francine Salazar, our AMTV staff members.